And let's talk a bit more about um, post-traumatic stress disorder that you know you mentioned previously, because this is actually um, you know a specific uh, condition or, or set of symptoms, isn't it? Yes, and I think it's much more likely in the COVID era. Um, because of the suddenness of the death, but also all again, all the missed opportunities of not being able to say goodbye, not holding their hand, not having the normal rituals. And so the sort of um, DSM-4 uh, definition of PTSD is if you have flashbacks, um, intrusion of memories, that feeling of panic for more than six to eight weeks, um, then it's diagnosed as PTSD. Um, and the, the the PTSD is where the memory where you where you get it because your system your your psychological system is overwhelmed by the event, and it puts your whole system on high alert. And the memories or the images or the images that you've imagined, if you weren't present, are in the amygdala, and they're like normal memories we can process, and they're kind of stored in the neofrontal cortex and, and they don't bother us. Traumatic memories are like jagged memories that keep flashing up and they are triggered by our senses, sight, sound, touch and smell. So there's this kind of negative cycle that you kind, because they're so disturbing and you get this awful rush of panic when you have the image, you want to avoid them. So you kind of push them down and um, avoid them but then they keep on intruding. And so that sets up um, a terrible kind of loop and it can, it can give you an overwhelming sense of vulnerability and lack of control. And people have <clears throat> nightmares. Um, they feel increasingly more frightened and it has a physiological effect. Um, and I mean, if you look at the um, research on it, people who have un unprocessed trauma, trauma that hasn't been treated, are much more likely to be addicts. They're much more likely to have complex um, grief. And so the outcomes for people with trauma that isn't treated, you know, are, are quite negative. Yeah, thank you. Um, I mean, it's a fascinating topic. Um, I suppose, you know, as someone who's, who's experienced the sudden loss, I immediately think, oh, I wonder if, if I've got any of that. Um, but it sounds like it's quite a, an extreme condition. And I was um, reading that, you know, based on studies from the London bombings, around 5% of those affected by a sudden or a shocking bereavement may go on to develop these kinds of symptoms. So it's not something that is inevitable, is it? Um, I mean, I think there, there's a sort of changing attitude to, to trauma now. Um, so... PTSD in the sense that you're talking about, say, from the Paddington crash or a car crash or having a stillbirth where you have the flashing images and, and you try and block them in a, in a sort of loop, um, trying to block the intrusion and you feel like you're going mad, is one, is the most sort of common and the one I always worked with for the last 30 years. But what I'm understanding from people like Bessel, Bessel van der Kock is that there is trauma that is less kind of the volume is turned down a bit, but actually it still interferes with our capacity to engage with life, to form relationships. Um, so you may not have any of the flashing images, but it, it could underlie lots of other difficulties. So, um, you know, for you, I, I can't possibly know. You certainly don't seem to me like you have trauma, but... Um, I guess that one of the ways if someone is listening, if they want to know whether they, they still have sort of a legacy of trauma in their system is how do they, how do they manage under stress? Do they go from naught to a hundred very fast? Are they able to soothe themselves? Are they able to sort of form relationships and build trusting relationships? Do they have a lot of negative habits and behaviors that try and anesthetize intense feelings, um, and if there's a if if the answer is yes to quite a lot of those, then I, if I was them, I would sort of talk to someone and see if if they have trauma. the The best evidence treatment for trauma is EMDR, eye movement desensitization reprocessing. Mm 